Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand our tables trick. Now tables is one topic in mathematics where a lot of students get stuck. Okay. So understand this is something which you don't need to memorize. Okay. There's a trick to write down your tables. Okay. At the same time, if someone tells you like, you know, what is 12 into 6 or what is um, 16 into 9, you can actually do this orally. I will show you how to do this at the end of the video. But for now, Please understand the phobia of tables is something which is very very easy to get rid of okay so let's see how so now when we have to do tables now if suppose you had to write down the table of 13 then in that case what you should do is first you will start with what writing down table of 1 so this is because 13 is consisting of what 1 and 3 so first we write down table of 1 which is what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9 and 10. Right? Then we will write down table of 3. So which is what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and 30. Okay? So now what you should be doing is, please understand. See, here there is there are only two digits if your answer has in your last part of your answer basically the units part if it has just single digit then you don't have to touch it okay you just have to leave it as it is so 13 into thir 13 ones are 13 13 twos are gets you 26 13 threes are will get you 39 now here this is where a lot of students get stuck okay so what happens is See, since you don't have a single digit, then what you should do is you add the tenth digit or you leave the units digit as it is. So, 2 will be written as it is. And then whatever is left over gets added to the next number. So, 1 plus 4 will get you what? 5. Similarly, here also 5 and 1 will get added. So, 5 plus 1 will get you 6 and this 5 will continue to remain here. Here also your 8 will remain as it is and then 6 plus 1 gets added so that gets you 78 similarly here this one will remain as it is and 7 and 2 will get added so we'll get you 91 here the 4 will come to be as it is 8 plus 2 will get you 10 similarly 9 plus 2 gets you what 11 and 7 now we have what this 0 will continue as it is and then you add 10 plus 3 that gets you what 13 so now if you see here you have got the entire answer for 13th table. Okay. So now let's try and figure out what is 41 table. Okay. So again 4 table we write down. So which is what 4. 4 1 is 4. 4 2 is 8. 4 3 is 12. 4 4 is 16. 4 5 is 20. 4 6 is 24. 4 7 is 28. 4 8 is 32. 4 9s are 36 and 4 10s are 40. Okay. And then again one stable. So which is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now if you look closely in your units digit everywhere you just have a single digit answer except for that this one. Okay. So here what you will do is you will not touch anything because this is actually your 41 ones are. This is 41 twos are which gets you 82. 41 threes are gets you 123. 41 fours are gets you 164. 41 fives are gets you 205. 41 six are 246. 41 sevens are 287. 41 eights are 328. 41 nines are 369. Now, here, like I said, we'll follow the same principle because we have two digits in your unit place. So what you will write down, we will continue the 0 as it is and 40 plus 1 gets you 41, sorry 41. Okay, so this was very easy. Here, here you don't have to use any brains, you could have directly done, put a 0 because 41 into 10 gets you 410. Okay, but so by now you will have understood that whenever your unit digit is 1, you literally have to no, not worry at all. You can actually do this orally. Let's say if we had to do uh, 61 into 6. So now what you have to do, you don't have to worry about one part, okay. What you have to do is just 6 and 6 because 60 and 61, okay. If we had to do 61 into 
six. Someone tells, someone asks you, what you will do? Just multiply six and six. That gets you six thirty-six. Okay, and then just multiply one and six gets you six. So basically, your answer is what thirty-six and six. Correct. Similarly, for eighty-one. Eighty-one into let's say you had four. Uh, so eight into four, all you can do is what thirty-two, and four into one gets you four. Right. I have actually written this down, but you can actually do this orally. Okay, so basically showing you this trick is what the idea behind showing you this trick is nothing but to tell you can you can actually do this orally, like literally in seconds. Okay, but you need to practice a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to pick up a harder one. Okay, so now in this case, what happens? So again, we we'll write down seven table and then we we'll write down. Six table, okay. So again, seven ones are seven, seven twos are fourteen, seven threes are twenty one, seven fours are twenty eight. Sorry, seven fives are thirty five, seven sixes are forty two, seven sevens are forty nine, seven eights are fifty six, seven nines are sixty three, and seven tens are seventy. Okay. Now again, six tables. Six ones are six. Six twos are twelve. Six threes are eighteen. Six fours are twenty-four. Six fives are thirty. Six sixes are thirty-six. Six sevens are forty-two. Six eights eights are forty-eight. Six nines are fifty-four, and six tens are sixty. Okay. So now, in order to write down your final answer. See, this is going to remain as it is because this has just one single digit in the units place. Now, for this one, what we'll do is just add these two. So here, you will have one five two. Now here also we'll add these two. So we have two two eight. Now here, when you add, there becomes a carry. So you will have one eight plus two is ten. So one. So zero only gets considered, and one gets added to the next number. So three zero four. Okay. So here again, three eight zero. Now this is getting added. So we will have four five six. Then again, here also there is a carry involved because nine plus four gets you what? Thirteen. So you just have three written. Two is carried as it is, and one gets added to the previous. So the number ahead. So, which is what four plus one gets you five. Now this is again similarly you have eight gets added. Six plus four is ten. So you take a zero, add one to this. So then five plus one gets you six. Okay. Similarly, four, eight, six. Then again seven, six, zero. So you saw how easily you can actually do this. Now coming to your trick. Like I said, what I explained for forty one. basically it is the same okay so if you had to let's say multiply and show what is uh, 39 okay so in that case what you do is you do what 39 into if you had 39 into 3 okay so we'll do what just put it in your head so you multiply 9 and 3 you get what 7 right so 7 is a part of your answer but the last part of your answer 2 you put it in your head Then what you do is three into three that gets you what nine, and then you add that number which was there in your head. So that is what so nine plus two gets you eleven. So basically now your answer is what one one, and the last part which was there in your mind was what seven. So one one seven is your answer for thirty nine into three. I know it looks a bit tricky. Trust me, with practice you can actually do this very very easily. This is one of the best Vedic math tricks. Okay. to multiply numbers in your head i have many others i will definitely show you in the coming videos so that's it for today i will see you in the next video